Persona have released some interesting benchmarks between MySQL and MariaDB when it's come to specific SSDs type. Talking about the controller type. NVMe storage. Something I, I never thought I'm going to hear in, a, in, a, in an engineering or computer science perspective. We were, I only hear this in gaming because I'm interested in gaming and I learned that, oh, PS5 has NVMe storage, custom SSDs. But I never actually took some time and thought, okay, you know what? This actually might affect our performance compared to uh, SATA or, or SAS, uh, serial uh, ATA, serial, uh, what's it called, SCSI, what it's called, whatever it's called. So it's very interesting take between the MariaDB and MySQL and the performance. I want to go through this article and, um, and just a little bit discuss it. How about we do that, guys? So guys, if you don't know, MariaDB is a fork of MySQL that has been uh, spun up after Oracle acquired MySQL, acquired uh, whatever that company, Sun, and that basically uh, people went their own route and forked MySQL and created MariaDB to be truly open source and not under uh, Oracle umbrella. And uh, it's, it's a very interesting benchmark for the throughput of writes when it comes to if you have like an SSD, solid state drive, and uh, this particular article discusses the NVMe, and then I'm going to go back <clears throat> and look at the original article that uses SATA uh, uh, controller, SSD controller, and see the big performance between the two, because I was baffled by the, the big performance numbers when I saw these. And I don't know, uh, I hope they use the same benchmark, uh, hardware and controllers and, and, and uh, memory and all that stuff, and I think they did. And uh, I'm going to talk about this and then jump into some paper specifically to MySQL comparing all this uh, stuff. How about we jump into it, guys? <clears throat> so, guys, for um, SSD drives have been, once since it had been emerged as a flash, uh, as a flash memory disk, right, uh, compared to hard disk drive, which is the spinning wheel, which we talked about in this channel a little bit. Check out the course that I do, uh, made, uh, DB Engine, to discussing the different DB Engines and talk about the SSDs and B3s and then different uh, storage mechanisms and of these things. And this is very important. And when we built HHD, we, like I, I was involved. Yeah, back in my days, I used to build some HHD by my hand. I didn't take any help. Yeah, so with uh, that, 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 the HHD required some sort of a driver and controller to actually, uh, to, to talk from the motherboard to, to the software, to the operating system, to the drive itself. And this was, for the longest time, SATA, which is Serial uh, Attached controller, all right? I don't know much details about this hardware level stuff. I'll leave it to the hardware engineer, but it was designed, this is what you need to know. It was designed for hard disk drive. It was designed for those drives that are spinning that has limited number of output and input, right? When it comes to these things, because you can only do so, so, so much so fast in, in physical world when it comes to spinning stuff, right? So people talk, when, they, when we move to SSD, People moved the SATA drivers and the SATA controller along with it to SSD, with which which kind of held down the evolution of that uh, for for the SSDs. And uh, then, obviously, someone created something called the non-volatile uh, express storage, which is the replacement for SATA, but designed for SSD. Obviously, if you design something for high performance and, and from scratch for the new technology, you're going to get better, better performance. So how about we jump into this article, compare the SATA version uh, disk when it comes to MySQL and MariaDB, and then jump into the same comparison, same benchmark, but between uh, uh, with an NVMe storage and see the performance, right? So, guys, f f spoiler alert, NVMe is faster. But if you like, take a look at this 
And I'm going to a little bit read it here. To avail of MariaDB and MySQL, I will use an identical setup that I would I use if, uh, I use the value PostSQL. And then this is this is the configuration. This is the hardware. He's using Ubuntu. Uh, all these configurations uh, around uh, how much memory was that? 186, 186 gig memory. Pretty neat stuff. Data will fit into 100 GB RAM memory. Memory. He's using AnoDB. So yeah, let's use the same database engine for both. Definitely, obviously, right? The workload is mostly write intensive. So he's uh, he's writing. The, this uh, this benchmark is all more mostly writing, and the and the performance is measured by uh, TPS, which is transactions per second, which is something he didn't mention here, right? Uh, the author, by the way, is uh, Vadim Chenko. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. So thank you for this article, by the way. It's pretty cool stuff. And this is the this is the output. He make this run for three hours. He made it run for one hour and he didn't see some result. But after three hours, look at this, guys. So it's almost like a wave. In MariaDB, actually, it was that, that wave right, was a little bit uh, unpredictable, right, but here, it's a clear wave for MySQL, so first, it will start slow, the number of transactions per second, and as the time goes, it goes up, and it goes up, more is better, as he says right here, the more transaction per second, the better, duh, right, it peaks at whatever this time is, the 12, around 11,000, transaction per second, goes back down to 2,500, and then goes back up, and goes back down. I don't understand this wave, and even after reading that wave, it's just, to me, this is just the execution engine, perhaps, in MySQL, that's just tasting different thing, and, and trying different uh, algorithms, and caching, until it, it basically reaches a stable point after this, right? So after three hours, we notice that MySQL dwarfs uh, MariaDB. Look at this. It just goes to 75,000 per transaction per second, where our MariaDB is at 4,900. And this is using the SATA driver, guys. Why does he mention SATA? SATA. SATA SSD, right? So this is the SATA. What did we say the number was? Seven. 7,500 transactions per second for MySQL and MariaDB for 900. Let's go to the same configuration, the same everything, 187 GB, but between MySQL and, and MariaDB, but look at this beautiful thing, right? He's achieving a constant of 12,000, or it doesn't show really very clearly, but I would say it's almost like 13,000 transaction almost both but who's winning my sequel the blue is winning my sequel but look at this what the heck is this u-shape and even even uh, he doesn't know what is going on with this u-shape so because it's this u-shape is very weird for maria db right it starts at a higher rate but then goes down the performance goes down for almost like what almost an hour the performance is just ab abysmal for this in vme okay and uh, yeah and then once after this hour right after 2500 seconds to be specific so what's that yeah that's after 40 minutes after four minutes we recover mariadb recovers from that and uh, he mentions by the way uh, that mariadb has some bug fixes that it can actually improve this u-shape after that but it's very interesting look at that transaction goes down then all the way goes up, but regardless, both of them, after he's just uh, normalized the graph, look at that. It's around 12,000 transactions per second between MariaDB and MySQL. So who's winning? MySQL's winning big, I think, around... It's, it's not clear, man. I wish he put the numbers. I didn't see these numbers, though. But that is awesome. So obviously, MariaDB developer made a comment that there are performance fixes coming in this release, which will improve MariaDB performance so this will even be better so this is july 30th that is pretty cool this will this will this is good this is really good but definitely if you compare nvme if you want to get an nvme ssd it's gonna give you great write performance 
uh, thank you, Vadim, for this. But yeah, it will give you a great write performance. We're not sure about read, to be honest, because we didn't, we don't have benching uh, benchmark performance for that. But guys, you need to worry about this, right? A little bit. If this is B3, if NODB uses B3, which we know it uses B3, B plus 3, then the number of, it depends on the number of writes and what you're doing, but it depends on the index of the B3, the rewriting and rebalancing of the B plus 3 can actually wear down the, the blocks in SSD and can reduce the shelf life of SD. So that's why where you want to use something like a my rocks as a as as a SQL engine, uh, as a as a DB engine for MariaDB or or MySQL in order to to increase your shelf life for your SSD because it uses a, an LSM tree compared to a B tree, which uh, which we talked about in that in that video right it's, it's, it's way better because it was optimized for writes so if you're doing a lot of writes or if you're doing a lot of updates specifically to in place update of stuff that can actually uh, wear down the performance of the ssd drive all right guys so finally i want to go to this paper where is this paper this paper right i'm going to share all these resources by the way I'm going to make them available below. But look at this. Best practices for MySQL and SSDs. This paper is really pretty neat. Now, when I look at this, this is the most, uh, this is the most interesting one that I found. All disk reads. And these are around 20,000 uh, transactions per second for... This is all MySQL, by the way. This is comparing MySQL against different uh, SSD types and hard drive, disk drive. So the gray, which is all the way here, I don't know if you noticed, <laughs> it's abysmal. <laughs> Look at this. Compared to, obviously, hard disk, yeah, it's, it's well known. And that's a slow. SSD with SATA is way here. This is the purple, around... Uh, around less than 10,000. 10, that's what exactly what we saw with SATA, guys. It was around 7,500. That's the correct number. Uh, Persona's number matches this paper, so that's good. And then SAS, which is something I didn't know about. This is called a SCSI. What is it called? It's a serial attached, attached SCSI. That's another type. My God, this takes me back to the printer days and, and things that I used to do. I used to help my dad assemble machine computers back in the days back in the 90s 1998 1999 where we were used to build computers and sell them that was our business that was my dad business back in the day yeah look at this <laughs> it's just like lpt1 and his scazzy stuff like that yeah i don't do this stuff anymore but yeah look at this so this is around this, this is so it's it's way better than sada but it's it it just it it's not as good as NVMe, which is non-volatile uh, mem uh, memory express. So this is way better. All right, guys. So that's uh, this is very very interesting uh, anecdotal evidence, uh, an article that I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much, Persona, for writing. By the way, it's a great company. Those guys. They they have their own database, I believe. Persona DB. And they crank up so many good blogs like this. So give them a follow on Twitter because I really love their content. They, they, they give you great content all the time. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.